Everybody would love to become a millionaire. It would be fantastic. In fact, it is not that hard to actually become a millionaire if you do the right things, the right steps that millionaires all over have done over and over again. There are just some key steps that you need to take. Now, this is a simple process. It's not easy, but it's simple. Let me walk you through what it takes to become, and actually the steps to actually become a millionaire. Hey guys, Dustin Heiner with Master Passive Income, and I wanna share with you how you can quit that J-O-B, that just overbroke job, by investing in real estate rental property so you never ever have to work a job again. Now let's look at what a millionaire actually is. Now a millionaire could be somebody that has a million dollars in cash, literally sitting in the bank or maybe underneath their mattress, that could be and is a millionaire. They have a worth of a million dollars. But what also is a millionaire is somebody who has assets, things that are worth more than they bought it for that accumulate enough to where they have a million dollars in value. Let's say you buy a house. You buy a house and then say after you know, 10, 15 years, the value goes up and it goes up to where it's $200,000 more than you bought it. Well, that's $200,000 in equity. That's $200,000 in value in that asset. Well, then your net worth is at $200,000. Now, let's say you had five properties that had a $200,000 value equity above what you owe. Well, five properties times $200,000, that's a million dollars. That's where you become a millionaire. Basically, you have a million dollars in value. Now, here's what I will tell you, because what I want to share with you is how to actually buy that real estate so you can become a millionaire, but then also not just have that million dollars stuck inside of a house. A value is literally there you can't use I'm gonna show you how you can actually use that value in each one of those houses to buy more houses and be able to provide for yourself and your family without working that J-O-B. With these properties that you buy, you can actually make passive income. So here's what happens. When you buy one rental property, you buy one piece of real estate that you can rent out to somebody else, what they're gonna do is they're gonna pay everything for you and pay you extra for living there. So this is what it looks like. Now I own like 30 plus rental properties now and I don't pay my taxes. I don't pay my insurance. I don't pay my mortgage, my property manager fees. I don't even pay for repairs. I don't pay any of that stuff. My tenants pay for every bit of that expense. And then I make sure I can make extra on top, which is passive income. So I have the house that has value, which let's just say it's $200,000 in value. But on top of that, I'm making money every single month in passive income. And what that looks like is if you have a house that you buy that actually has the total expenses for mortgage, insurance, property manager fees, all that sort of stuff, we add all of those fees up. Let's say it adds up to $1,000 a month, including your mortgage. Then on top of that, we talk to our property manager and say, property manager, how much can this house rent for? They might say, okay, well, it rents for $1,300. Well, you have $1,000. Minus that $1,300, that's $300 difference. That difference is passive income. So on top of the value that you have in the house, you are also making $300 a month in passive income from that one property. Now, here is what is super amazing about owning rental properties and getting passive income through those rental properties is number one, you get the value. Obviously, you get that value, but you can also use that value to buy more properties. I will get to that in just a second. Now with this one property, we make $250 a month in passive income at the minimum. Some might be 300, some might be 500. Some properties I own, they're like seven or $800 a month in passive income, which is super amazing. If you had just one property that made you $250 a month, that's $3,000 a year in passive income. That's You don't work and you make money. If you had 10 properties that made you $250 a month, that's $2,500 a month in passive income. That is $30,000 a year without working. If you had 20 properties, that's $5,000 a month in passive income, $60,000 a year, and you could just keep going. But here's the thing, you don't even work. Now that equity that you have in your property, this is what I was gonna share with you. That equity you have in your property, you can actually pull that out and use that to buy a new property that's gonna be making you another $250 a month. Now let's say you have a home where you have equity in the property. Let's say you bought it, a couple of years goes by and it goes up in value. You can do what is called a cash out refinance. Now, if you check out the comment card up there or check the link in the description, I'll give you where I actually walk you through how I did a cash out refinance, got money back and use it to buy more properties, which is what you wanna do. But what we do is we pull that cash out. And here's the great thing, it's a loan. It's not like when you sell the house, Let's say you sell a rental property, you get $200,000 in 
appreciation and you get that money in your pocket, well, Uncle Sam, the government is literally gonna tax you on that. They're gonna tax and take money out and then you don't have the property, not making you any money in passive income. But what happens is if you refinance the property, that is a tax-free loan. You pull that money tax-free out, then you put that into a property. But the beautiful thing is, it's tax-free and your tenants pay for that loan. You do it over and over again. That's how we scale. Here at Master Passive Income, we buy one property. Then we scale it to a second property. We scale it to five, six, 10 properties and we keep growing. Now, if you want to be a millionaire, great. Having a million dollars in assets is great. But wouldn't it be better to have an extra $5,000 a month in passive income where you literally didn't work, but money came in without you working and you could pay for your bills. You can go out to eat whenever you want. You could travel the world. Because if, let's say you had $10,000 a month in passive income, you had these properties without even working. That is so much better than just becoming a millionaire, which is good. Don't get me wrong. I would rather have money coming in so that I did not have to work. Now, after you build up your business, you scale your business even more, you buy more and more properties, that's when you quit your job because you have enough money, then, this is absolutely what you must do, then you take that same time that you had, 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week, putting it towards your boss's business, you create your own business, whatever it might be. It could be a landscaping business, it could be you know babysitting, whatever you want to do, but you then create a business because the value that you have is so much more than your boss could ever pay you. I'll give you an example why, I'll show, you'll know exactly why. Your boss is only paying you enough to keep you working without quitting, but not so much that's taking money out of their pocket. And so as you put that rest of your time, all that value that you have in yourself, because you're worth so much more than your job, after you actually put that towards something else that builds you value, it puts value in your pocket, then you have a business that frees up your time even more so that you can invest in more properties, you give people jobs, you make everything so much better because as you become a millionaire, you have extra money. Extra money breeds extra time. Extra time breeds extra relationships. You know, hang out with your kids, talking to your mom on the phone more, whatever it might be, you get more relationships, but then you serve more people by building businesses and those businesses make you more money and more money and more money. Now, the great thing on top of all this is as you build your rental property business, as you save money, as you build more businesses and quit your job, you compound. That first million is very, very hard to make. Don't get me wrong, I know, I've been there. It's very hard to make, but the second and third million and the fourth million, it's so much easier because you have all the money that you had from your first million to implement or put into your next business or your next properties, you keep snowballing it. You keep, you know, a snowball, you roll it down the hill, it gets bigger and bigger and faster and faster. Same exact thing with passive income, with investing, with having more cash, more time, you build more and more snowballs. You even, let's say you had eight snowballs going down the hill, creating more money. That's what we wanna do as investors. Making that first million is hard. That second million's easier. Third million, it just gets easier and easier. If you guys got anything out of this video, smash that like button. I appreciate you guys. Watch this video right here. I'll see you guys in the next one.